I love Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. You might be wondering, why am I saying that? You might not because you might know and you might know exactly how all of that relates. There's a live action Barbie movie coming out soon. Who would have thought that that's something that would have happened? Has it, has it happened? Is it already a live action Barbie? Am I gonna seem like an idiot? We'll let the comments let you know. I mean, I'm gonna seem like an idiot anyway at some point in this video, so. There's never been a live action Barbie movie in the history of the world. Quote me on that. So to celebrate, so, I mean, I, I don't know why I'm so, I've never even seen a single Barbie movie or heard a single Barbie song. Are you face palming because I should have seen them or because you're saying shut up and continue speaking for the video? You're older than me and I've watched more Barbie. <laughs> and <laughs> I may be older than you in years, Andrew, but I am far younger than you in spirit. Yeah, I will be the true. end of you. <laughs> I mean, I like to think I'm young in spirit, but I feel like all of the horrific trauma I have sustained from this channel have aged me like 80 years. I'm now, I might as well be in a retirement home, so. I, in fact, I am. What was I even saying? Barbie. There's a Barbie movie. I'm gonna listen to Barbie songs because the Barbie movie's coming out. That's it. Also, I love Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. Cool. The first song <laughs> is called I Am A Girl Like You, and it's from Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper. If I'd like to have my breakfast hot, Madam Carp will make me pay. Ma and I have to Madam fetch the eggs myself in the barns a mile away. Is... Okay, so she's not a princess. W would you like to know the context? No. Just based off that first line, it feels like she's resentful to... Well, I guess that's Barbie, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the Barbie movies just do some weird stuff and that's not actually Barbie. But it's a... I don't know. <laughs> it's cold and wet, yet still I get an omelette on my plate. But so in my head she's I'm persevering? Snuggled up and sleeping late. What? She says that the barn's a mile away, so she's got to walk and get the eggs. Which, like, don't get me wrong, is inconvenient, but, like, that's not that far, you know? That's like a 15-20 like a minute walk. And yet she gets an omelette on her plate every day. But then she said how in her head she's still in bed. So is she sitting down, eating an omelette, dreaming of being back in bed? Really? But it's alright. I mean, I'm used to it. And you? Well... She's used to Sorry, like, she's saying like, oh, I'm used to it, it's okay. Kind of implying that her life is rough? Is that what they're getting at? So her life is rough because she has unlimited access to eggs, makes herself an omelette every day, and is clearly pretty rich. Look at them clothes. She got that bag. I don't even get an omelette every day, bro. <laughs> I ring the bell and the maid comes running in. Yeah, well, this is exactly what I expected. She brings a cookie tin, and while I eat, she rubs my feet, and strolly minstrels play. Yo! Hold up, is it just me? Or is Barbie kind of a bitch? Can you imagine meeting someone and being like, yeah, you know, I do get to have an omelet every day, but unfortunately I have to walk quite a distance to get my eggs, you know, life's a bit of a hard work, but overall, it's quite nice. And their response is just, yeah, well, I've got like a billion people who wait on my hand and feet. And also like while I eat cookies, one of my maids literally rubs my feet. My life is, I'm better than you. You should be my new maid. Be in my library reading science books all day. I'd rather be in my library reading science books all day. So, like, she's a princess, right? So do that. She can't. Why? She's got royal duties. What royal duties does a princess have? Watch the movie. <laughs> I'm just like you. You are? You're just like me. I guess in, Somewhere else in spirit, sure. Rather be. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> I'm just like you and you're just like me because there's somewhere else we'd rather be. Sure, yeah, I guess that is a true statement. One is I would rather not have to toil for everything in my life, have some variety and be able to do anything that I want to do like you, Miss Rich Princess. And the other one is a rich princess going, hmm, I, I, wish I, I wish I could read more books. Don't get me wrong, I get it, I understand, but it's just a little bit hard to feel sorry for literal royalty. <laughs> Is it just me? If I met like some prince and they were like, oh, I wish my life was like yours. I wish I could just live a normal life. Do it then. Give me all your money. Down with the monarchy. Somewhere the dreams come true. Yes, I am a girl like you. You never think that it was so, but now Actually, I guess I also hadn't thought like, how did these two meet? Are they just like chilling on the street and singing to each other? <laughs> and where's everyone else? The princess is out on the street and they're just like, yeah, it happens every day, don't worry. Yeah, she's like literally holding a butterfly like a Disney princess, don't even worry about it. It's just everyday occurrence. It's plain as day, sure as the sky is blue. 
Oh, that's a, actually, honestly, this is a really cute detail that I only just noticed. Look at the butterflies they're holding. She's got the little pink dress on, representative of Barbie, and she's touching a blue butterfly. She's wearing the blue dress, which is representative of her, and she's touching a pink butterfly. That's adorable. That's a nice little detail. I am a girl like you. This is such clean so, vocals, too. You're a singer. Oh, ha! The I work at Madame Carp's penitentiary. Uh, I mean... Dress Emporium. <laughs> what? Barbie movie? That's a little out of pocket. First off, I liked that I complimented her vocals and then Barbie immediately was like, oh, so you're a singer. But then she said she works at the penitentiary, uh, I mean, Dress Emporium. D does she work in a sweatshop? There's all kinds of horror that I feel like I'm gonna uncover in the Barbie movies. I love Madame Carp's dresses. <laughs> the one you're wearing. You made this? It's my favorite. Is this also showing the, I guess, difference in how they view the world? Because she's like, yeah, I work at the uh, uh, dress emporium. And then Barbie's like, oh my God, you work at the dress emporium? I love those dresses. I'm wearing one right now. Like it doesn't sound like a, a nightmare. <laughs> First I choose a fabric from the rack and I pin the pattern down. And I stitch it in the front and back and it turns into a gown. I wear the gown. Oh. It took me a hot second to realize she wasn't just casting magic. <laughs> She's just talking about like how simple it is for her, I guess. I wear the gown without my crown and dance around my room. Well, that's depressing. And life without the strife of an unfamiliar groom. Has she been in an arranged marriage, Andrew? Is that what that is? Barbie movie. What are you doing? <laughs> Just like you. I think that's true. You're just like me. Yes, I can see. We take responsibility. Oh my god. That's a beautiful harmony. I don't know if it's just me, but if I was the one in the blue dress, I would be like, you're just like me. Are you joking? <laughs> I guess we look alike, but I struggle and work enslaved in a sweatshop, have an arranged marriage and have to walk half an hour to get eggs while you get massages and eat cookies. You're just like me in the sense that you're a person, but I believe our lived experiences are wildly different. <laughs> we carry through. We carry through to what we need. It's just so nice to hear them harmonies. Oh my lord. A voice that speaks the truth. Yes, I am a girl like you. There's a nice little melodic change at the end. Look, part of me feels like maybe I'm wildly off the mark. Andrew gave me a little bit of context at the end of that song. And I still do think that it's a little bit weird to compare those lived experiences. But all that matters is that it was sung beautifully while well, they did. Right? <laughs> I also always appreciate when songs manage to make things sound so beautiful while making them sound so simple. Because honestly, I don't think there was much going on in terms of music. It was mostly just focused on those voices together, which makes sense given that it's kind of highlighting the character of both of them. I was completely and totally there for that. And you know what else I am here for? This guy, he looks weird. Look at that wig. Is it a wig? Maybe, what's he doing? Why is he, is he just climbing into the cart? The next song is also from Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper and is called How Can I Re Fuse. I've been bowing, I've been scraping, I've been that. Like what is that shot? And the face, he's doing the like Ugh, emoji. This makes me uncomfortable. I don't need like a POV Barbie villain staring down at you. What I was gonna say was that voice was not what I thought I was gonna hear. I expected kind of like a deep, boomy voice, not I, don't get it. <laughs> I sounded like Toad. <laughs> and for 10 long years, I've had to pay my dues. Oh, that's what I was expecting. I'm escaping. For the last he is flip-flopping. It was waiting there, so how could I refuse? This is such a strange mix of sounds. He'll be like, it was waiting there, so how could I refuse? And then be like, I've been buried, I've been scraping! <laughs> what is this strange dichotomy of man? I'm returning home a hero who's discovered mighty well. And what better husband could have been? Oh, he, he is the groom. Okay. He's not the groom? Is he trying to be the groom? Yeah. He's the queen's right hand man. He said, what better husband could a princess choose? Wasn't the point that she couldn't choose? And wouldn't he know that? I'm the suitor who will suit her. Bring the kingdom back to health. The suitor who will suit her. For how could I review? <laughs> oh, I will wear the crown. I will bear this responsibility only because I have to. I don't want to. I don't want the crown. But if, if you insist. <laughs> Bro, what's up with these weird shots? I feel like I'm watching some weird music video. I, mean, I guess I am actually, but 
Glass and rouse every cheer. Hello? First off, why do you shout like that? I don't know. Are you good? <laughs> First off, why'd he shout like that? Second off, did his neck just twist all the way around? He is an owl, confirmed. Also, he has the weirdest looking face, I swear to God. The rain of Preminger is here. Terrifying. You're in charge of all that I see. All hail me. This dude is so power hungry. I mean, he's everything hungry. He was out here being like, oh yeah, I'ma have all the gold, be all wealthy. And now he's not even saying, oh, I just wanna be king. He's like, master of everything I see. <laughs> Straight up evil. Like a moat, an the... coat and palace view. Is that a dog with a fro? She treats me coldly, it's a sign of inner fire. For inside she's thinking, how can I refuse? So does he actually like Barbie? I mean, hey man, if you're ever talking about someone that you're into, um, don't, say the phrase, uh, how could they refuse? Because that sounds a certain type of way. The queen decided to marry off to the king of Belsenia. Oh, they're talking about the arranged what? marriage. Making a decision without me? Who does she think she is? Uh, the queen? Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even just say the exact words. I said it in the exact cadence and at the exact same time. What the hell? Simpering simpleton. Oh, well, she is a queen. She's got a crown and a scepter and sits in her big fancy chair. Is he gonna like kill the queen or something? No, I won't let go. There's his weird high pitched voice again. Ah, it's a temporary setback. How does the dog's hair get did, did he style it like that on purpose? Like this guy's like, oh, you know what would be great is if my dog had this giant afro. I know it's a poodle, but that's some big hair. But conveniently my ego doesn't bruise. Is he gonna kill her? The boss. You can bet your booty on there'll be no I do. He's talking about how he's gonna manage to control the queen's decisions or change the queen's decisions and how he's like, oh, it's just a momentary setback. Literally, I feel like he's planning an assassination. Is that the, is that what's happening? Hey man, don't. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's the monarchy, but like, you know, <laughs> I don't want him to be the replacement. Spread the power to the people. <laughs> Suppose the girl goes missing. So the king says au revoir. Wait, did the- Can I find her? Bring her back. Oh, he's gonna kidnap her. Then the queen will be so grateful that you'll pledge the girl to moi. And I'll humbly tell her, how could I refuse? Oh, so he's not planning an assassination. He's planning to kidnap Barbie, which will make the other guy lose interest, I guess, instead of being like, oh my God, what happened to the princess I was meant to marry? Just like, well, she's gone, I guess, and then leave. And then he's gonna bring her back and that will make the queen want him to marry her. But wouldn't Barbie just go, yeah, but he kidnapped me though. And I don't wanna marry him. Isn't that the fatal flaw in his plan that Barbie would just know it was him? Unless he organizes someone else to kidnap her, but just seems so convoluted. I will rise and take the throne and that nitwit Annalise can kiss my shoes. For the kingdom and the castle will be mine and mine alone. If the crown should fit, then how can I refuse? Wait, granted, I don't know that much about royal succession, but he's like, oh, once I marry Barbie, the kingdom will be mine and mine alone. No man, you'll be a prince. The queen will still be the queen, unless she dies, which I'm guessing is maybe what he's planning on doing, but if the princess marries a prince, it's not like she just evolves. The queen still exists. That's why you have like all of the royal prince and princesses that we have. So the only way that he'd become king after marrying Barbie is if the queen died, which means he would have to kill her. Get ready when the roses I love these guys. They're my favorites. Yes, before the I love the dude doing the high pitched. Can I okay, look, I don't like him, and he is clearly an evil, power hungry maniac. However, him and those two guys kind of a vibe. Let him sing their songs, even if he is singing about regicide, just as long as he keeps it all in the mind and he keeps it all in his mind. He won't though. This next one is from a movie that has a title that I would call confusing. Barbie and the Secret Door. I don't know why the door's a secret. Maybe it's what it leads to that matters. Anyway, it's called If I Had Magic. Isn't there just magic in the Barbie universe? So wouldn't they already have magic? Unless this is like one of the universes where they don't have magic. I mean, there's cars. Is this a school? There's too many universes in Barbie. <laughs> 
This feels so much poppier and way more modern. I mean, I, I, like I said, I saw cars, so, you know, cars are gonna be more modern than medieval. <laughs> Give me a drop. My dad would make oh, it's a... Sell. New books on every shelf. It's doing the like 2010s pop song thing where it makes you think it's gonna drop and then it's just the kick drum and nothing else other than vocals. I kind of expect this to go a little big. I'm hoping so. And then I cast a spell. Abracadabra. My pets would talk to me. Oh, what the hell are those freaky little things? What the hell are those big freaky things? I like her voice in this one too, and it really feels like it matches this more poppy sound. I don't know why. So far, it almost feels like her voice could be a chameleon and just kind of suit whatever. Obviously, I know they're different voice actors, but like, I just mean the vibe of Barbie. Create a pair of shoes. My foot is just tapping. Do you know how weird it is to have no concept of any of this and to sit here and listen to the songs from the Barbie movie and then find out that against my will, my foot is just tapping. It's just that much of a bop, apparently. And with the spotlight on, okay, I can feel that it's gonna hit soon, right? If I had magic. Okay, give me that buzzy bass. You know what would suit this so well? And I kind of feel like it might happen later is some big harmonies in the background while that section is sung too. And they don't even have to be saying the words, just having like some high pitched ahs in the background. Oh, that would hit so hard. Magic, magic. Okay, it's a little weird how much this is slapping. Oh, they... Okay, I like that they didn't take the energy all the way back down to zero because they could have easily gone back to only having that kick drum But they left a bunch of the other elements in which is really keeping the pace Stop I'm I'm bouncing There were I don't know if those vocal harmonies were there in the last one. They might have been and I just missed them, but it's kind of along the lines of what I was saying, but I was just hoping for bigger. I think there's still time for me to get it though. She seems so wholesome, like she's singing about all the wonderful things she'd do if she had magic. Oh my god, I'm, a, I'm dumb. I literally just realized because she's saying if I had magic. So were all the parts where she was doing all kinds of magic stuff just like in her imagination or something and this is her dreaming about that? Because the start of the video really seemed just normal everyday life pretty much. If so, that's kind of sad. Suddenly I would be everything. Oh my god, I want that hit. I can feel it. Could be. Oh, a high note too, damn. If I had magic. That's a really interesting shift. If I had magic. Yeah, there's the hit I was waiting for. Magic, magic. They added the, a very similar thing to what I was saying. I even said it didn't need to be words, just like a ah. Oh. <laughs> but they added this oh, uh, uh, oh. Oh, it's, that's, that's wonderful. I like that all together. That is, oh, the, the reverb, oh my God. I was about to say how it filled out the sound and then they added even more cool stuff. Well, that was really cute. And I genuinely enjoyed that song. That's gotta be my favorite so far. However, part of me feels like maybe that was a little bit sad given that maybe that was just all in her head and it's just what she wants to happen. Maybe it will though, and maybe it won't be sad. I feel sorry for Barbie. <laughs> anyway, the last one we're gonna listen to is from Rock and Royals, which is a uh, an amazing title for a movie. And it's the finale mashup. I'm guessing, obviously, that this is right at the end of the movie. I don't even know if this is just one song or if we're getting a couple different ones and that's what the mashup is, but regardless, I'm ready. My soul is ready. <laughs> Glee? Is the whole thing gonna be acapella? Everybody wants to find out who they are for real. Some more lovely vocals. Looking for a way to show or tell you how I feel. Oh. I feel like a dumbass. I was literally about to be like, oh, so is she like a recording artist in this movie or something? Rock and Royals. Gee, I wonder if maybe she makes music. A melody needs help. Yo! The blue streaks, hell yeah. Big? Oh. I was not expecting a half time. 
Yo, okay, okay, I'm here for this. I'm especially in if they take that and slap in like a big instrumental later because they kept that quite low key. And I feel like if they pump that up, oh, I'll be, I'll be over there dancing. You won't even see me, I'll just be an empty chair. Just, oh my God, all the vocal layers, hot damn. These are perfect harmonies. What? That was a weird note choice. Is that a key change with that one note? Did they shift it? I don't know, that just sounded really good, but really strange. Also, I love her vibe. She's my favorite character now. <laughs> Can wholeheartedly say that I didn't think I'd get a guitar solo. Just doing the dance. What the hell? We make our own moves. I think you know Stop! It's so much of a bop and it. Just look around now. This is what I was talking about. What? What? <laughs> First off, that's a banging melody. Second, why does that sound so goddamn professional? That literally sounds just straight up radio quality. This is so far away from what I thought I would get from a Barbie movie, and oh my lord, am I loving it. Man. They half-timed it, they slowed down the- oh my- that little section was especially amazing. They did a half time, they slowed down the delivery of those lyrics so that it was so flowy. They added more harmonies that filled out the sound and the way that the main vocal track kind of fades a little bit into all the rest of the stuff is just perfect. Oh my God. Oh, that's a completely different singer. Their vocals are cutting through. How's this gonna change now? I would love for all of the vocalists to come in. Damn, man. The staggered layering of the top line vocals. Stop. 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 The way they're coming in on top of each other is Why does this just make me so happy? There's a key change. And it's a great change. Why does that chorus go so hot? Dude, all of them together slapped. What? Get out of town. Get out of Dodge. That was just... Banging. I, I, don't, I don't have anything else to say, because what? <laughs> this is the weird but amazing part of making videos like this, is I just sit here blown away. I was absolutely loving it, absolutely jamming, and it was from a Barbie movie. Cool. <laughs> the world is amazing. <laughs> the sheer variety of things that exists, I love it. I'm in such a good mood now. Thanks for that video. <laughs> and thank you for watching too, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.